Hey everybody, it's Monster Zero and Jay, and welcome to the Tomb of Nostalgia. On Tomb of Nostalgia, unlike Movie Madhouse, which reviews new movies, Tomb of Nostalgia, we're going to take a look back at some of the cult favorites and guilty pleasures from years gone by. And I can think of no better movie to feature on our premiere installment than the black exploitation classic Blackula. Blackula was made in 1972 during what was called the black exploitation era, or what is now referred to in our PC times as Soul Cinema. Blackula opens in 1780 when African Prince Mamawaldi travels to Europe with his wife, Luva, on a diplomatic mission to end the slave trade. Unfortunately, the diplomat he chooses to seek audience with is a man by the name of Count Dracula. Dracula curses Mamawaldi with the thirst of the vampire. He then seals Mamawaldi in a coffin so he may suffer eternally without being able to quench his thirst for blood, and then seals his wife, Luva, in the tomb with him so she may share her husband's agony as she dies a slow death. We cut to 1972 Los Angeles, where a pair of interior decorators have bought the contents of Dracula's castle, and included in what they purchased is Mama Waldi's coffin. And what follows is obvious, Mama Waldi is freed from his tomb, and now stalks the streets of LA as the vampire Blackula. But he also discovers a woman named Tina, played by Vanette McGee, who is the spitting image of Luva, also played by McGee. And that's what makes Blackula so much fun. It's, kind of, it's a horror movie, it's a vampire horror movie, and it's also a bit of a romance, too, as, as the Prince Memowaldi side of Blackula tries to woo back Tina, who he believes to be Luva reincarnated. Director William Crane does a really good job of combining these elements. Blackula is a fun movie. It's an entertaining movie. He does a really good job with the scary stuff, and he also has this sort of gothic romance going on, too. And it's all made believable by the great Shakespearean actor William Marshall. William Marshall was the perfect actor to cast in the role, and apparently he was AIP's only choice to star in the film. And he does a fantastic job of creating this noble, regal prince, this African prince who's now cursed. He, he shows his torment at, at what he's now become, but then he can also be the monster too. He can be scary, he can be threatening, and he can really exude the power that Blackula is supposed to, uh, is supposed to have and does. And it's just a great job. William Marshall worked with the filmmakers to ensure the character had a nobility, and it was he who brought all the African culture into the, into the film. It was because of his influence that Blackula was given the background of being the African Prince Memowaldi. That is something that William Marshall brought to the script. It was not in the original story. And he does a great job of, of playing the character, and it is William Marshall that makes it work. Uh, the rest of the cast is good, too, and they have a lot of fun with the roles. And from beginning to, to, uh, to end, Blackula is a fun, uh, sometimes spooky, sometimes romantic, but all-around entertaining horror movie. Uh, it basically is a one of the best examples of the black exploitation cinema, but it transcends that and it's just a good, fun 70s horror movie. If you haven't seen Blackula, it is available. It's a really nice print to the film. It's a really enjoyable 70s movie for a nice Saturday night with a couple of drinks and a bunch of friends. So I'm Monster Zero NJ, and see you again on the Tomb of Nostalgia.